Hello and welcome to another Python tutorial. Uh, I'm trying not to lose steam here. This is the fifth one of the day. It is a Friday and I'm trying to keep up my energy. Uh, might need a cup of coffee here. But anyway, we're going to talk about uh, searching um, uh, list. Wow, I'm losing it real quick there. Alright, so we're searching list and um, we're trying to return the index position of a um, object in a list. So with using the index method we can actually return the location of an object in a list so let's create a list and this time I'm not going to use one two three in our list because it may be confusing that way so let's do um, a dog my cat which you might hear meowing in the background and a fish all right so we'll close out that uh, list there. We'll call our list, and we got our list there, dog, cat, fish. All right, now we want to find the index of cat. So we do a dot index, and then the argument, we give the argument we're looking for. It's got to be in a string format. Close out our argument um, with the parentheses. Hit return, and it returns us to one. All right, so what's one? One's our index position. And we can confirm that by saying this is 0, this is 1, and this is 2. All right, let's take another look at that. A, oh, A index, and we're going to do uh, fish this time. Close it out. It returned, and we get 2. So we got 0, 1, 2, and we get our fish. So index returns us the index position of an object in a list. All right, it is case sensitive, so let's take a look at that because I almost uh, screwed up there in the previous one. Fish, boom, up oh, value error. Fish not in list. So index, if it doesn't find an object in a list, it's going to return to us a value error, which could screw up how your program runs. So um, be aware of that, but use an index will give us the ability to find the index position of an object in the list. Alright, so if you have any questions, leave a comment on YouTube or on our website, learnpythontutorial.com. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like the video. So we'll see you in the next one.